Welcome to another installment of the AMZOL Information Series. I'm Rob Stenberg. With us today, Mr. Peter Markham, Eastern Regional Sales Manager for AMZOL. Pete, thanks for being here today. No problem, Rob. Appreciate it. Now, a sales professional in a white lab coat, what, what's going on? Well, I want to keep myself clean. We're going to do a little testing of oil today and, you know, got to stay sharp to be in sales. Okay, I noticed you didn't bring me a jacket, but that, that's another story. Now, I know this is the Felix Lubricity Tester. That's the official name for this machine. I also know one of the nicknames for it is the one-armed bandit. I'm really interested. How did it get that nickname? Well, the one-armed bandit meaning you can manipulate the results, manipulate the way you do the test to show and highlight your product in the best manner. So bandit, it's kind of stealing the, you know, the money away from the consumer from where it should be. Okay, I notice we've got a lot of different oils here. I take it we're going to throw some in here. How, how does this machine work? And Well, how the test? machine works is we're going to put oil in the reservoir. We're going to turn it on, and this roller is going to spin. As we bring the arm down, the bearing is going to apply foot pressure and stop that. Okay. So the oil is affecting how the foot pressure is measured and the final results. Well, let's do it. Now, what, can I just pick, pick oil? Any, any product? All right. We're going to take a little Mobile One here. I think everybody's pretty familiar with that product, right? Fully synthetic oil. Is that okay. enough in there? That's enough. That's and good. We'll, see. we'll turn this on and you'll see the oil flinging from the roller. Okay. And we'll start to apply the pressure now. I'll give you that. Okay, that came in at about 42 foot-pounds of pressure. Okay, now is that good, bad, indifferent? Or? Well, let's, let's demonstrate. Why don't you pick another oil there and we'll empty out the uh, mobile out of here. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take AMZO. We'll put AMZO in there. So okay. that one was at about 40 pounds, you said? Uh, about 40 pounds, just over 40 pounds. All right, so we'll throw the AMZO in there. Now, I take it the, the number of foot-pounds, or the higher the number of foot-pounds, the better the product the is supposed result. to be? The better result. Now... As I apply the pressure here, notice I'm going to kind of take my time a little bit more on this one. Okay. And as the pressure is being applied, you'll see the results. A little bit longer. Okay. Now with the AMZO, that came in about 50 foot-pounds. Okay, so AMZO is the better product. It is, absolutely, but I want to continue demonstrating. Why don't you choose another oil All there? All right. Well, we'll take, uh, we'll take some Quaker State and put that in there. For, okay, that's a good one. Many people know the names. We'll get some for peak for performance in there. Now there this is go. our third oil we're testing here. Right. And keep in mind as we go now, oil has additives, and I wear additives that react with heat. Now I'm going to let it kind of heat up a little more, and let's see what that shows in the results. Okay. And I can kind of picture this happening out in the in the field as somebody's demonstrating this. They could just let the arm sit on there like you're doing now. Maybe put a little pressure. I can smell the product a little bit right now. Right. And now we'll add the pressure to it. That was about 60 again this time. Okay, so, so a little bit, same about the same, but a little bit higher. And now well, keep in mind, this bearing that's stopping the roller yeah. is also now getting a larger wear print there. So what's happening to that surface? That allows the surface to accumulate more of the anti-wear additives. The heat stays on there, and that will affect. Now why don't you go ahead and choose another oil? Well, what if we did another product? I mean, one of the ones we did, like sure. the AMZO product. Choose what if we the do AMZO, that again? Fill right. it up. That enough in there? That's plenty. You'll okay. see once again it's spinning yep. off the roller. All right. Now we're really going to allow this to heat up. Add a little bit more pressure to it as you can hear it. It sounds a little bit different. It sounds a little smoother. A little smoother. That's those anti-wear additives reacting with the heat. Okay. Now we'll slowly apply more pressure. Now you can hear a little sound, but then it's smoothed out. So you could be here talking about how great your product is, just keep putting that pressure on there, letting those additives Correct. act up or get into action. Nice. So now that came in, oh, almost 90 foot-pounds. Wow, and just a couple of minutes ago it failed at about 50, right? Right. So that's a better product now just a couple of minutes later than it was a little bit ago. That machine would lead you to do that, so that's how some of the manipulation comes in. Obviously this isn't a test that's... A repeatable test then, correct? It's not repeatable, it's not standardized because you can vary the way you use it. Well, I notice we've got a lot of different products up here, but why do we have, I mean, are you going to the gym later? Why do we have head and shoulder shampoo? Well, actually, I'm going to let this machine do the, the talking here. Why don't you fill up the reservoir with head and shoulders? We're going to put shampoo in here. Absolutely. Okay, and this is going to work. We're not going to, uh, and we might have some technical people mad that we're going to ruin their machine or not anything, are we? Well, we'll find out about that later, but let's take a look at how this. Now, once again, you can see the shampoo covering the roller. Once again, we're going to apply the pressure, let it heat up. 
You can probably start to smell the shampoo a little bit. I can smell bit. it already. From the... Apply a little more pressure. It's still very smooth. And this, you wouldn't put this in an engine now, would you? You never would do that. <laughs> and you almost okay. can see a little smoke coming in. I don't want anybody to be deceived. Oh, I can see it smoking up already. I, I haven't changed the pressure, too. but now it's evened out. It's quieter. And if you're talking this whole time, talking about how great Head & Shoulders is for your engine oil. That's right. Now your engine we'll performance. apply a little more pressure. Wow, that is really smoking. And I'm going to get a little leverage here as I... Wow. And that was about 100 foot-pounds of pressure for shampoo. With shampoo. And now, obviously, you wouldn't use shampoo in an engine. No, you would never do that. You'd have some serious issues. <laughs> and, and as a sales professional, would you recommend somebody purchase their engine oil based on this test? Absolutely not. And also remember, they'll use this machine to promote additive packages. And there's not a single manufacturer of engines or oil that recommend using an oil additive. So they'll also use this machine to promote that product. Well, Pete, we really appreciate you being here showing us how the one arm Bandit works. Don't let the one arm Bandit take advantage of you. For the AMSOIL Information Series, I'm Rob Stenberg. We'll see you next time.